Hey guys, X 17 here, coming at you with a new episode of Why Is This Card Banned? Today I'm talking about a really interesting card called Butterfly Dagger Elma. Now, to anybody not having any experience with this card, whether you're a pro or just a casual, really, in if you have no idea what this card is, you will take a look at it and be like, why is this banned? It's not even that good. So, first of all, let's look at the effect. Let it focus for a second. Alright, you guys can pause and see that, but I'll read it anyway. A monster equipped with this card increases its attack by 300. <laughs> Old card text. So funny. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, this card can be returned to the owner's hand. Uh, old card text is funny. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, so, yeah, it's just, you equip to a monster, against you under attack, if it's destroyed while it's equipped to something, die. It comes back to your hand to reuse on another monster. So, basically, on face value, it's just, a, you're able to slightly pump up your monsters. Over and over again. So, it's not even that really good of a card. So, why is this banned? Now, let me introduce my friend, Gearfried the Iron Knight. Now, you guys might remember him from the show, but I'll read his effect in case you didn't know. Any equip card equipped to this card is automatically destroyed. Now, what's interesting about that is that you can... If you equip this to Gear for the Iron Knight, it'll be destroyed. But because it was destroyed while equipped to monster, it returns to your hand. Whoop. Like that. Instantly reusable. Now, what that means is, is that you can basic any you can play a spell it allows you to infinitely play a spell card. So any card that gets a bonus off of having you played a spell card can now be infinitely abused because of these. My two favorite ones oh, well, I think the two best ones are these. Exhibit A, Royal Magical Library. And what this card does is, every time you play a spell card, well actually you or your opponent plays a spell card, it gets a spell counter on it. Once it has three on it, which is the max, you can remove all three counters and draw a card. So basically, by going, playing it, using it, playing it, playing, 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 playing it over and over and over again, you can basically draw your entire deck out. So, like, this would be a really good strategy if you need to get specific cards in your hand, like, say, for Exodia or something. This would be very good. The other one I'd like to talk about, which I think, I don't know, I don't see this one mentioned as often, but definitely it has presence, is Spell Absorption. Every time you play a spell, you get 500 life points. Continue that over and over again, you can get yourself million, basically millions, billions, practically an infinite amount of life points. So if you have infinite life points, all you have to do is make sure you have more cards in your deck than your opponent, and you can just sit there while they deck out, trying to eliminate all your millions and billions of life points. The fact that you can get to millions or billions of life points is simply ridiculous in itself. But here's the thing. The problem is, is Royal Magical Library is a slower play to do, because you have to summon Gearfried and then summon Royal Magical Library. Oh, you've got to keep them both alive before you go. However, Spell Absorption is faster, because you can just play it and summon it, but the thing is, this only works against convenial deck, against a conven convenial, normal decks, yeah. Like, if you're playing against Exodia, or Final Countdown, or some lame-ass degenerate deck, that just sat there and didn't, had some alternate win condition, then this would be useless, because you couldn't just sit there and stall them out. There's probably another use for it. I'm just not thinking of it at the moment. But anyway, that is what... I'm just trying to get the point across that infinite life points equals bad. So, yeah. I think that's kind of sad because it, it's not broken at all. It's just a weird little card that just gives you some extra attack points when you need it. So, the thing is, could this card come back... No, it really can't. It's really... It's not broken. Its effect isn't broken, but what it can do is extremely broken. Because it's a, it's a three-card combo. for inst It's basically a three-card instant victory, basically. The thing is, the only way to bring it back would to either 
hit both of these, which you shouldn't do, but more important, actually, it, why do I even bring that up? What you should do is either hit this or Gear Freed. One of these two cards has to go. And considering how old this was, I think in favor of the fact that this was a show that was commonly on the TV program at the time, and this wasn't. Also, this is a better card than Gear Freed, because Gear Freed's just an 18 beat. It's basically an 18 beater. That's all it is. I guess they felt that this was the card to hit because of those two reasons. The first one, maybe not so much. I th that's more of a speculation on my part. The second one, I think, is more likely. Anyway, so, yeah. Actually, come to think of it, if they were to have chosen Gearfried over Elma, there might have been some other card at some point that could do the same sort of thing, basically allowing you to play Elma over and over and over again. That might have been... That's probably the real reason why they kept Elma banned, because that way the shenanigans would be gone and cards that didn't deserve it wouldn't get hit. So yeah. So what do you think of this card? I think it should have gained, I think it should be stayed banned, but why don't you guys tell me what you think about it in the comment section? And if I missed something or there's another card that you can break besides these two that's just as efficient and consistent, then please by all means tell me in the comments. So, now that you watch my video, like, comment, subscribe if you liked it and all that other good stuff. This is Ron X17 signing out.